Hello everyone and welcome to Plaisir Flower Channel. Today we're going to talk about these African beauties, Protea and Eucalyptus leaves. We're going to take you from uh, purchasing a fresh stem of flowers and leaves and take you into enjoying them as a dry arrangement. Protea um, typically comes from Kenya, from Africa, and there are different types of them. There's the red types, which uh, hopefully you've seen, they're more common. And then there's another kind, which is a lot more rare, which is this cappuccino one. So the red protea, it's usually more readily available uh, as opposed to the cappuccino protea, but uh, both of them are absolutely gorgeous to, to have and they will be an investment that you won't regret because they go from fresh to dry. So cappuccino protea was one style of protea, one genre of protea, and the red protea is another one, which is also very pretty. Uh, you can have three of them together, five of them together. As you can see, uh, we work with odd numbers. That's a tradition that's come from uh, Eastern Europe and it's been ad adopted in Western Europe as well, always working with odd number of stems. So we do that as well. So you can either offer them on their own or you can add a few branches of eucalyptus. I love working with eucalyptus with exotic flowers because it's just so pretty and smells so nice. So this wrapped in beautiful wrapping makes a really nice gift for a man, for a woman, for a colleague, for a friend, really appropriate for anyone. But the beauty of offering Protea and um, Eucalyptus is that after they, um, they've had their fresh life, they become beautiful, beautiful blooms as a dry flower. I'll show you uh, some of the varieties. This is the the same variety as the cappuccino but in a dry this is fresh and this is dry similar this one has a little bit sharper edges this one we've cut the edges down and this one is the same as the red one i think you can see it same as this one yeah it dries beautifully what you can do, um, vases are very important for dry uh, flowers, for the look of them. If you can find something rustic in the earth tone, in the um, uh, green colors or brown colors, it would look really, really nice with your uh, exotic dry arrangement. So here I only have a glass vase to show you uh, just because that's all that was available today. But you can add some sticks or they're called salix and you can make yourself a really pretty arrangement in a dry form uh, and they will last for months and months and months. Two of the natural flowers and leaves that you can go take them from fresh to dry and they last for years. Uh, I've had a protea in my home, one single cappuccino protea uh, from a year and a half ago. You, I just put it in a single bud vase uh, with, uh, with one stick and it's just been beautiful, elegant, on a side coffee table. So don't shy away from spending a little bit more on a protea and on eucalyptus. I know they're more expensive than your average rose or tulip or, or the, the regular blooms, but it's worth the investment because they will last until you're sick of them and you throw them away. They're not gonna die. They go dry and they still look beautiful. It's a big trend right now. Dry flowers are a big trend and this is one of the best ways to gift someone something you love and have them enjoy it for years to come. I hope you enjoyed this segment on Proteas and Eucalyptus. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe and leave us some comments below uh, as to what you would like us to talk about next time. Until then, see you next week. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Chai. Bye-bye.